Hi, this is Chris with Peace of Mind Art and Crafts. And I'm here today to give you a little tutorial on how to make a snippet roll. Uh, basically, this is um, a snippet roll is, is normally made on a long piece that can then be rolled up. I'll show you how this one this one could go on a on a spool like this. And then you can cut it off whenever you need to use part of it in your journal. Uh, I have watched several other people, journalers, do videos. Um, among them Nick the Booksmith, Shabby Dabby Doodah, Gail Augustinelli, and R.D. Mays. And um, I saw one recently, I think it was from uh, Rachel, or it might have been Shabby Dabby Duda, I'm not sure, where she used a piece of tape that had a sticky back on it. So that's how I'm going to show you how to do it today. Uh, you just need basically snippets of things. This one was made in all kind of pinks and, and um, different items such as that. And then at the end, I glued lace down to each side of it. And then I sewed along. You would not have to sew if you don't have a sewing machine. Don't worry about that. You pretty much glue everything down. I sewed along one side and the other side and then down the middle. And it, it isn't a straight line. It kind of meanders around whatever's in its way so that you don't hit, uh, hit these different items. Also, I added some of the um, items that are like the charms or the bling here, the button. I added those after I sewed so that I wouldn't have to go through those. The key, I added that after I sewed. Okay, so let's, uh, let's show you how we did this. I started out with a piece of a tape. This tape just happened to have this, this uh, sparkly... Uh, blue on the back uh, that's fine that doesn't that doesn't matter and I take it off on one edge I take it I take it off a little bit at a time so I don't get the whole thing uh, so that I could stop and start as much as I wanted to and it's a clear that comes off and so I just take it off a little ways I might use my um my paperweight to hold it down because see it went back on me and it's stuck again. This this stuff is fairly sticky. You could use uh, a piece of a uh, you could use a piece of duct tape. Or you could use a piece of fabric or even a piece of paper as your base. And if you use a piece of fabric or a piece of paper, you'll be gluing your items down rather than just sticking them down. So I'll show you that. I've assembled a bunch of different items for use in my snippet today. I'll put them up here and I'll show them to you a little at a time. Oh, there we go again. See, it's stuck to my sleeve. But that's okay. That's, that'll that'll be all right. Okay, let's start down here on this side. Okay, this is a, a piece of ribbon that came on a spool. Uh, actually, it's it's burlap fabric. So I think I might try to use a little bit of this. Once again, I'm gonna pull out my fabric scissors for some of this because I do have a lot of fabrics today. The idea is to kind of place your snippets, and they don't all have to be straight, kind of at an angle. And then see that I just stuck right down to there. And I can... This is kind of cute, This little, these little flowers. And have them extend over the edges too if you want. You can always clip that off if you don't like it hanging over quite so far. But that's kind of that's kind of the look of it to be not not real straight. 
Okay, and then just keep filling with, with papers, fabrics. That piece of fabric there. Now, not everything's going to stick down because once you once you fill this area, for example, whatever you put over the top of this might have to be glued. Let's try a piece of lace over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, since this, this lace is ruffled, I'm going to cut this top part off to get rid of that so it lays flatter. I could use the ruffled if I wanted to. And this is going to stick to part of it. Cut this off at kind of an angle. Now here's where I can kind of use my glue. And I'll use my, my white glue on here to glue down these pieces. Let me get a piece of... Uh, or a wet wipe to use. Nice when you're working with glue, then you can kind of just pat it down. And put some glue over here on this side because it didn't have the sticky there where it overlaps. And that's another thing you want to do is you want to keep overlapping as you go. Um, let's see, I have some of these pretty uh, roses. I think I'll use a couple of those. This other one I used kind of a lot of pinks and so on. This one I thought I'd do kind of more of the theme. I, I, I'm going to try to stick to a theme of, um, of Paris, of France, maybe the wine country, villas, that type of thing. This is an old stamp of, uh, actually I probably put, didn't want to cover over that, that face on that stamp, so I'm going to just, you can also use, um, for the heavier items, you can also use your 3-in-1 glue, which I'll pull out in case I need to use that. And see how, as I'm going, I'm, I'm pulling back this uh, plastic thing that, that gives me the sticky sticky part. Okay, let's see what else I have. Let's put on a piece of this. This is a kind of the wine country of France. I believe it's called Provence. And you notice how part of it will stick right down. And this part that just hangs over the edge, that's fine. You might want to tack this down just a bit on this side. And let's just keep moving along here. Oops. Here's some uh, pieces that I cut from a fabric that I had that showed different uh, landscape. Paris and get this down. I've got another one of those that see I don't want to put things too close together. I might wait and use that later. Um, there's a piece that would fit nicely there. And I think I need to tear it in half. So let's do that. Let's tear it in half. Let's see which side we want to use. I think the side with the, where it says bonjour.
Now this blue paper doesn't show through too much, but that's a nice background to have. Let's see if I can find more of that. There's some more. I'm gonna tear it so it isn't quite so. Okay, if everything overlaps, as a matter of fact, that's what you want. Like this. Put that there. another one of these types of fabric show the villas oh, you're in a French French uh, little village that you might run across when you're traveling notice how I'm kind of putting the bigger things down first and then I can go back in and and uh, fill in with some some smaller items I'm uh, kind of carrying this this blue through now since this will be cut up it'll probably be cut into um, uh, five inch segments or less these make great uh, pockets on your on the inside of your journal pages. I'll bring this one out again that I finished and I'll show you. Um, for example, you might want to cut uh, this is at about five inches on over here. If you cut that then you can use that as a as a pocket on a on a page or even down the side of a page or for um, a belly band. Uh, this one you could probably get about four, five inch uh, sections out of. Or you can cut even uh, smaller sections. You kind of need to go by where it, where it ends, where things end, like you wouldn't want to cut this in half or anything. So use your discretion. Okay, here's more of this um, this pretty paper. I'm going to take this off. I'm done with that. Have this hang over a little. And here's another piece of this. Uh, this I'm gonna I'm gonna tear. Try to tear. I don't know if it will or not. I like these torn edges. The look, I like the look of them. Okay, put this here. I'm just about at the end of my tape. Um, let's see what I can put over there. This I had down on this end. I can repeat it. If 
even just on the side like this and since this kind of blank space up here we'll put this down check my time you know I do have some blank some blank spaces here I can still add some lace If you want, you can take some of these little pieces of fabric off and ravel them a little bit. Let's see where we put that. Maybe right here. Looks good. You can also stamp on here on the blank areas. You can put um, butterflies down. You can use charms. If you use charms, I, I would advise that you wait until the end after you've sewed it, if you are going to sew it. Let's see here, I'm looking for my my book where I keep all my My little pieces of trim and butterflies and stuff like such as that. Okay, I've got these little sticky butterflies, so I could use some of those. I'm gonna try to keep things maybe kind of small, smallish. It's probably a good idea to use a little glue on the back of these sticky back things because they they might not stick down there very well. One over by the green. These are kind of maybe too big. Save those for later. Okay, this one says Italy. So another one of these. I think this one also is Italy. Yeah, because it says Rome. Okay, I have a couple more of these little butterflies. Let's try these. These are pretty. Maybe just one of them. Okay, these have their little sticky backs on them. If you take that off, it makes it flatter. Just go along and figure out where you want your different your different items. Now this still has quite a ways to go. Um, I can show you how to put the the lace on the back. I have cut two pieces of lace. Make sure the side that you want facing up. Then what you can do is you can put these right on top of here. What I usually do is I put fabric tack glue or the three-in-one it's also called right along the edge You are going to be sewing this, so you'll you or if you are going to be sewing it, then you don't need a whole lot of glue. But just put it on the edges. And uh, 
let's see. I think that's the side I want forward. So I'm just going to gently set this on here. Try to get it on there as straight as I can. Although it really won't matter. And then this side also. this end. Okay, I'm going to press it down. Now this blue, this won't show because you'll be most likely gluing this down to something. So just the front part will show. Okay, and now that you have that, that uh, lace on there, you can glue anything else down that needs to be glued down to the lace. Yeah, and that made it quite a bit wider. So to finish this off, what you'll need to do is, is uh, and we're going to add a few more things on here, but uh, what you'll need to do is sew it down on the on the edge kind of on the edge of here around and then go down the middle with your sewing and like I said don't don't worry about it being straight it can be zigzag it can be you know whatever stitch you want to use and when you when you get the, when you do get this finished actually I like that heart right there so I'm going to put that on there This is a kind of a burlap heart with lace on it. Okay. Butterfly. I'm in frame here. Okay, I only have about a minute left, so what else could we put down here? Basically anything you want, just keep filling it in. And like I said, after you sew it, then would be the time to add your um your various charms and so on that you want on there. And I'll show you, I'll show you this one again too. Let's put them both on here. So, uh, the bling, the key, that type of thing, this, this gem here on the, um, on the butterfly. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I wish you all peace of mind. Please stay safe. Thank you. Bye now.